Hi beetle people, welcome back to A Beautiful Life here on YouTube. Um, today what I'm going to be showing you is part one of my record collection. Um, I have ten records here that I'm going to highlight today. Uh, I think there will be about two more installments of this, so let's get started. So we're going to start with something that is not Beatles or Palm Carding related at all, but it's still one of my favorites. Um, this is The Wizard of Oz soundtrack. Um, I love The Wizard of Oz. It's one of my favorite movies. Um, it has been for quite a while. And this has all the songs from the movie on it. And if you open it up, um, it has kind of the description of all the songs here, um, the story of the movie, and then these nice photos here. Coincidentally, as I'm showing this, this is the weekend that The Wizard of Oz was back in theaters um, for its 80th anniversary. Um, it was re-released. Um, I didn't go see it though because I have it recorded on my DVR. Um, however, regardless, I love this movie. Next, we have The Beatles Help Vinyl. Um, this one, um, most of my Beatles vinyls actually are from the 60s. Um, I got them all at once, kind of as a gift before I even had a record player. Um, this one, as you can see, there must have been a nice picture on the back because somebody cut out um, the back portion so the vinyl is just sitting in here. I realize that's probably not the best way to keep it um, stored, but we're going to take that out for a moment because if you look inside, it has this really nice... Um, Kind of spread about the film it has the kind of a little synopsis here but there's no spoilers so if by chance you haven't seen it or whoever had bought this hadn't seen it yet um, doesn't give anything away so there's some nice pictures here and a synopsis of the movie mm -hmm. and yeah on the back uh, advertising some other vinyls here and then I, I would like to know what picture was here. If you have this vinyl and you know what picture is on the back, please let me know. Next we have Rubber Soul. This is one of my favorite um, albums and definitely my favorite Beatles album, although that does tend to change from time to time. Um, this does have It's Only Love on it. I think, I'm not sure what the difference is between the US and UK releases. Um, if someone is a little bit more knowledgeable, knowledgeable about that, please do let me know. Um, this has I've Just Seen a Face, Norwegian Wood, You Won't See Me, Think For Yourself, The Word, Michelle, It's Only Love, Girl, I'm Looking Through You, In My Life, Wait and Run For Your Life. Um, this one, you can clearly tell this is from the 60s because it's not exactly in the world's greatest condition. Uh, I'm afraid to open it up here. I don't want it to fall out. Still plays just fine though. Definitely, definitely love this album. Next, we have the iconic Sgt. Pepper. Iconic, iconically, with the lyrics on the back, just like this. And we open it up to this lovely picture. And of course, the vinyl inside. I have a couple copies of this. Um, for some reason, when I got all the uh, vinyls that I have from the 60s, there were two copies of Sgt. Pepper. Um, I also have my picture disc up on the wall there, which I did mention in my room tour video, or did show in my room tour video. So that makes three copies, plus actually, oh no, I think, I do have sitting right below me here the uh, super deluxe box set of Sgt. Pepper, but in here I'm pretty sure it's only CDs, um, but a lot of Sgt. Pepper, <laughs> that's for sure. I do have a, actually a copy of my, a CD in my car also, so <laughs> that's a lot. Next, we have The Beatles' Yesterday and Today. This, of course, is the album that had the Butcher cover before they replaced it with this more family-friendly image. This on it has Drive My Car, I'm Only Sleeping, Nowhere Man, Dr. Robert, Yesterday, Act Naturally, and Your Bird Can Sing, If I Needed Someone, We Can Work It Out, What Goes On, and Day Tripper. And once again, it's advertising those other vinyl records that you could buy at the time on the bottom. And yeah. Open it up. This um, the interior is a little bit ripped up. Once again, they're all from the the 60s. So, but anyway, yep. Here's a photo again. Moving on, we have Wings Greatest. I love Wings Greatest. I have it burned onto a CD that I play in my car all the time. Um, on the back here, it's nice because it has the list of all the songs. 
um, with the album that it was originally on before being compiled into this greatest hits sort of thing. We have Another Day, Silly Love Songs, Live and Let Die, Junior's Farm, Junior's Farm is my favorite, With, with a Little Luck, Band on the Run, Uncle Albert, Admiral Halsey, also another favorite, Hi Hi Hi, Let Him In, My Love, Jet, and Mole of Kintyre. There we go. Love that. Next we have Meet the Beatles. This is a fantastic album. If you're a fan of the early Beatles um, music especially, I tend to prefer um, early over late Beatles. Not that I don't love them all of course, but if we were picking like between the Red and Blue album for instance, I would personally pick the Red album, um, the earlier songs. On here there is I Want to Hold Your Hand, I Saw Her Standing There, This Boy, It Won't Be Long, All I've Gotta Do, All My Loving, Don't Bother Me, Little Child, Till There Was You, Hold Me Tight, I Want to Be Your Man, and Not a Second Time. A great, great selection of early Beatles and that cute picture on the back. Mm -hmm. Next up we have Band on the Run. I love this. I waited so so many years. I wanted this on vinyl. I couldn't find it anywhere. I got it for Easter as as a present one year, and I was so happy. I just love this album. And if you open it up, you take out the vinyl. You have these, this picture, and the lyrics on the back, and the song list here. Band on the Run, Jet, Bluebird, Mrs. Vanderbilt, Let Me Roll It, Mamunia, No Words, Helen Wheels, Picasso's Last Words in 1985. And there's that. Paul, Linda, and Denny. Next up, Magical Mystery Tour. I love, obviously, the artwork here. Very eye-catching. And on the back, it's like a nice kaleidoscope effect. If you open it up, it's a, actually a little book sort of thing inside. It tells you the story of the movie. Um, and it also has the song list here. And I, some of these pages are starting to fall out, so I'm going to be careful here, but there's some pictures inside. And then kind of a, like a on each page sort of a comic strip kind of deal um, about what the movie, wait, like the story of the movie, what's going on. This picture here. Yep. And then some more. Then of course at the end, your mother should know performance. Yep, 24 page full color picture book inside. And last but not least in part one of my vinyl collection, we have New. This is one of my favorite Paul albums for sure. I got this for Christmas, um, I believe the year it came out if I'm not mistaken. Um, my favorite song on here is Alligator. I really hope that sometime when I see Paul he could play that, um, possibly at sound check. Um, yeah, I believe inside, oh yes, two vinyls. There, and then on my, my, one vinyl on one side, and then on the other side, this book, um, talking, let's see, looks like a lyric booklet with some similar pictures that you'd be getting if you had the collector's ed edition of new, um, in that booklet that comes with that DVD and the CD, and then... This is an interview in here. Yep. And then the writing credits at the end as well. Now, if you're wondering why I don't have Egypt Station yet, I am waiting to see. Um, there's supposed to be a super deluxe box set of that coming out. Um, on Paul's website, there's like a thing uh, you click on it says, email me when this is available or something like that. So I'm waiting to see if that comes out. That's why I don't have it yet, but I do have two copies of the CD, including this one. Uh, this is a raffle ticket. There's a music store called Looney Tunes CDs. Um, not Looney Tunes as in cartoons, but T-U-N-E-S. 
Um, you can find them on Instagram. They're having a raffle where if you buy a copy of Egypt Station, you get one of these tickets. And they're doing a, um, a raffle for an autographed Paul McCartney um, photo. So I'm... I believe they do one every month. Haven't won yet, but fingers crossed. <laughs> and then my uh, 45 of Come On To Me and I Don't Know, which I got during record store day. The lighting's a little funny, my apologies. All right. All right, well that concludes part one of my vinyl collection. Be sure to stay tuned for probably part two and part three, which will be coming in the coming weeks so thank you very much for watching and be sure to check out my blog abeautifullife.com follow me on instagram at abeautifullife and make sure to like and subscribe to my channel thanks bye, -bye.